Hello, this is a brief tutorial on attaching your T-mount lens to your digital SLR or mirrorless camera body. A T-mount lens is a type of universal lens that can be used with virtually any brand of interchangeable lens camera as long as you have the right adapter. If you purchased your lens from Kometa Camera, the correct adapter for your specific type of camera should have been included with your purchase. The process is simple. Just attach the adapter to the back of your T-mount lens and mount the lens like you normally would. In this example, we'll be using a Vivitar 500mm f8 telephoto lens and a Nikon D7200 digital SLR, but this basic process will apply to any lens and camera combination. First, remove the dust cap from the back of the lens and attach the proper T-mount adapter to the back of the lens by screwing it in a clockwise motion. Make sure it's nice and snug, but take care not to over tighten, otherwise it might become very difficult to remove or it could damage the lens. Then remove the existing lens from your camera and attach the lens like you normally would. Line up the dots and click it into place. And now you're good to go. Now if you wanted to use an optional 2 times teleconverter, that needs to be attached between the lens and the adapter. So, simply take your teleconverter and screw it to the back of your lens, again in a clockwise motion. Make sure it's snug. And then attach your adapter to the back of the teleconverter. And continue to mount the lens as normal. Now remember that T-mount lenses are entirely mechanical, so they don't have any way of communicating with your camera. So some lenses will give you an error message such as lens not attached or something similar. Here we see an example with a Sony A6300. To fix this, go into your camera's menu and find a setting called shoot without lens, release without lens, shutter lock, or something similar. By changing this setting, you should be able to shoot with any adapted manual lens, including T-mounts. Keep in mind that error messages and menu options vary by make and model, so read your camera's manual carefully. Now that your lens is attached, it's time to start shooting. Remember, these are completely manual lenses, so there's no autofocus and no electronic aperture control. Focusing must be done with the focus ring on the barrel of the lens. And if your lens has an adjustable aperture, you'll have to do that manually as well. Start by setting your camera to manual mode by selecting M on your exposure mode dial. Then make sure you have focus control set to manual too. Again, check your manual for specifics, but with this Nikon, focus control can be switched right here. By the way, if your camera has focus peaking, which highlights areas that are in focus on your monitor or viewfinder, now would be a good time to enable it. It's a big help with manual focus lenses. Once you start shooting, you'll definitely want to adjust your exposure or brightness. To do this, you'll need to adjust your shutter speed and ISO, which is your camera's sensitivity to light. Ideally, with a telephoto lens like this, you'll need a fast shutter speed to minimize motion blur and a high ISO to give you a bright enough image. However, if you set your camera on a nice sturdy tripod, you can eliminate shake from your hands and shoot at a slower shutter speed, depending on how still your subject is, and lower your ISO to keep grain or noise at a minimum. As with all lenses, it's a constant balancing act between shutter speed and ISO, but with practice and proper shooting technique, your telephoto pictures will definitely improve. And with a T-mount lens, you won't have to break the bank to capture those faraway subjects. Thanks for watching.